here's a short demo of the Pebble app that I wrote to control your Tesla. So it's pretty easy actually. Uh, you can just, uh, for example, configure it to stop charging in this case. So right now you can see an open ESVE installation with some really nice 3D printed enclosures. Uh, they were made on the Ultimaker 3D printer that I have and uh, it keeps everything nice and tidy. So that's a lot better. So for example, if I wanted to stop charging, then I can go to that menu option, click it and it will trigger a command in the car that uh, it will stop requesting power. So the open ESVE has uh, stopped uh, providing power. For safety reasons it's important that there's no uh, power on the plug when it's not connected because it's not sealed. So this is how you turn off charging. Of course you can turn it on in the same way. You can view range, uh, charge percentage, uh, even the cost of the charge. So there's a lot of information available. Whenever you're somewhere away from the car and you want to make sure it's locked, then you can just select the lock doors option. So in this case it's unlocked and now it's locked and it confirms that it actually succeeded. So if you're wondering how to get this app, uh, you can just get it from the Pebble App Store. So if you have the latest Pebble App Store version installed on your, uh, on your Android or iOS, you can just um, go into the app and then you select the Get Apps option. You go into the category Remotes, and then at the top right, you select the Search icon, and from there, you'll be able to find uh, the Tesla app by typing it in Search. The cool thing is that by now, the app is already installed, uploaded into your Pebble uh, through the app. So here it's already running. Okay, so let's configure the app. It needs to know your Tesla login in order to be able to access the API. So go into the Pebble app, uh, select settings, and from there you can enter the username, your password, and uh, select whether you want miles or kilometers as a unit of range, uh, and then the dollars or uh, euros as a unit of currency, the cost of a kilowatt hour, and finally you press submit. And then it's all configured. No. I completely forgot the best part, which is preconditioning your car's climate from the first menu option. <laughs>